There's tons of episodes of your favorite cartoons that'll never see the light of day, and regular shows no exception. They've had their fair share of scrapped ideas, or as they call them, cold subs. Not much is known about these episodes, and the only information I'm aware of is from an AMA conducted by Matt Price and Calvin Wong back when regular show ended in 2017. Price gave some of his favorite cold subtitles, which include The Return of the Mommy Monthly Guys, Clorg Bane and the Flying Toilet, and Hamburgudu, which was about a hamburger and a hot dog food truck. Make of that what you will. Again, information on these is practically non-existent. The general public and fan base know nothing about their scrapped ideas, and will most likely remain that way. But there is one. I stumbled across a blogspot post made by storyboard artist Sean Sellis on July 31st, 2011. The episode Skunked had just aired, which was the 27th episode of season 2. In the post, he talks about the original storyboard he did, which was never aired because, quote, someone somewheres didn't like it. The episode was then totally rewritten, adding the bingo and where skunks to the episode. Lots of his drawings were then repurposed and moved around, as well as dialogue. This initially piqued my interest, because upon watching the episode for the first time, I always felt like it had kind of a different vibe to it. It's hard to explain. So with that being said, let's take a look at the original storyboard. The episode starts off similarly to the aired version, with Mordecai and Rigby begrudgingly picking up Roadkill, this time with no bingo. No bingo. No bingo. Bingo really added a lightheartedness to the episode, and without it, there's a much darker feeling to the scene, with Rigby even picking up the presumably dead skunk and using it like some kind of dead body ventriloquist, making jokes and mocking itself. The skunk then wakes up, freaks them out, and sprays Rigby. However, in this version, the skunk is just a normal skunk, so there's no where skunk transformation that begins. Instead, Mordecai just tells Rigby that he smells bad anyways, so no one's gonna notice, and they drive back to the park. The next scene of Benson running inside was repurposed into the original. This is followed by Muscleman throwing Rigby a stick of ladies deodorant, which I could have sworn was in the aired version, but I guess it's just some kind of Mandela effect. Maybe the scene was reused in another episode, but if it was, I don't remember where. The next scene is practically the same, with some little changes, like Mordecai thinking about Margaret and... Foam? Well, Rigby showers. Kinda weird. Again, there's no wear skunk in this version, so the transformation doesn't happen at the end of the scene. The coffee shop scene is a bit longer than the aired version, with more focus on Mordecai and Margaret's interaction, and... More foam. Weird. Eileen brings Rigby a coffee, which he says tastes weird, and spits it in her face. He proceeds to smash the cup, yell at her, which causes her to run off crying. An argument then unfolds between Mordecai, Margaret, and Rigby. I notice that the aired version of this episode treats Rigby more like a victim, whereas this one, he's like the villain. He thinks people are treating him differently because of the smell, and what's on the outside, or it's really what's on the inside that was driving everyone away. It's kind of corny. After Mordecai tells him he stinks, Rigby runs back to the park to find that Benson's locked him out. He gets in the cart and drives away. While driving, he nearly hits a bunny, swerves off the road, and blacks out. In this version, Rigby wakes up to the skunk, who found him like roadkill, whereas in the aired version, Rigby somehow finds where the skunk lives on his own. What I noticed about the final version is that it goes in a more cartoony direction, with making Rigby feel alienated. The where skunk is more of a cartoony fashion and physical way of separating someone, whereas this version is more mental. Him and the skunk Charlie talk about living around phonies and people who judge you if you don't fit their standards. It has Rigby almost befriending him and becoming a bit of a misanthrope in the process. But Rigby snaps back into reality when he unknowingly drinks tea with pure skunk oil given to him by Charlie, which starts transforming him into a skunk. Charlie tells him that the cure is pineapple juice, but he'll never be able to find some in time. He runs back to the house, fights with the skunk before spraying pineapple juice on both of them, which cures them both. What's interesting is that in the aired version, pineapple juice is not the actual cure. Tomato paste is, which Mordecai somehow figures out on his own. Tomato paste! The cure is tomato paste! This version of the episode ends with Rigby apologizing, and Charlie calling his wife Barbara, who got remarried to his friend Mark, because she thought he was dead, but he was really living in the woods as a skunk. That's complicated. I guess it's a bit better than chanting bingo at a dead body in their kitchen. Bingo! Bingo! <laughs> yeah! So there it is, some info on the lost episodes of Regular Show. I wish there was a bit more on the other cold subs mentioned at the beginning, but unfortunately that's all the information we have. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe found out something you didn't know about Regular Show.